Hi everybody, it's Bailey and I'm back with another Thursday resource. Today we're going to talk about Hoopla and we're going to talk about the kids version of Hoopla. Hoopla is a digital streaming service that has ebooks, audiobooks, movies, TV shows, and a whole lot more. So let's get to it. To log on to Hoopla, you're going to log on to our website, www.psp.org, and you're going to click on ebooks and more. Once that page pulls up, you're going to scroll down to Hoopla. You may notice where it says download on the App Store or get it on Google Play. That's just showing you that you can download the app on your device, whether that's your phone, tablet, etc. After we've clicked Hoopla, it's going to have a place where you can log in if you have set up a Hoopla account previously. And if you haven't already set up an account, you're going to click Get Started Now. This will be a place where you put in your library card number and PIN number, and then you'll have access to Hoopla. If you don't remember your library card number, feel free to give us a call at 502-352-2665, and we can help you with that information. Since I already have a Hoopla account, I'm going to put in my information. And once that pulls up, you can see your currently borrowed information. We're going to change this to the kids version of Hoopla. It puts it in kids mode. So if you see this check mark right here, you will have your Hoopla in kids mode. So basically, kids mode, as it shows, only shows kid-appropriate content in your browse and search results. And we have that turned on. And you can do this on your app as well. Also, I want to add, if you download something on your computer, on your Hoopla account, that also will go to your application on your phone. So you don't have to re-download it if you've already downloaded it on a different device. So let's type in, I recently typed in Pete the Cat. So let's type in Pete the Cat. And this shows all the Pete the Cat materials that Hoopla has. You won't see any adult material in this, like I said, because we are in the kids Hoopla. Hoopla is a really great tool and that there are no wait times or holds on these. So if you want this book, you're going to automatically download it. So let's click on this and click borrow. A lot of the kids books on Hoopla are the read along ebook. We're going to click on that. Most titles are available for 21 days on Hoopla. And then we're going to click read. And it should play with some music. Pete the Cat Saves Christmas. There we go. Created and illustrated by James Dean. Story by Eric Litwin. Twas the day before Christmas. So let's type in Star Wars, which is something that would have both kids and adult materials on Hoopla. But since we're in the kids version only, it's only going to show us results relating to children's material. If you would like just a ebook, you can click on format and click ebooks. That's going to show us all the children's ebooks relating to Star Wars. You can click on release date to narrow your search, date added, and language. Also user rating. Let's go back to the beginning where you can see your currently borrowed. And this tells you how many titles you can check out this month after you have already checked out X, Y, or Z. So I have two things checked out and I can borrow seven more titles this month. And that's per library card. So you can check out that many on your library card and then your child can check out that many on his or hers library card. Also to get to your currently borrowed you can click on under my hoopla currently borrowed and this is just a little less information on the page that you can easier get to your borrowed 
You can also favorite things on Hoopla that you maybe want to check back in later to, and your history, so what you have previously checked out on Hoopla. And, like I mentioned how you can narrow your search earlier, you can also do it on this section. So if you typed in Star Wars, you can narrow that search already down to only searching audiobooks, ebooks, etc. So I know that was a brief video, but that kind of sums up Hoopla in the kids' version. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at bailey.slusher at pspl.org, or you can put a comment down in the section on this video. I would love to help you figure all that out. So I look forward to seeing you next week for another resource, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.